आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो गाइस टुडे वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस दैट टॉइस कॉस ऑफ पाई बाय 13 इनटू कॉस 9 पाई बाय 13 प्लस कॉस 3 पाई बाय 13 प्लस कॉस ऑफ 5 पाई बाय 13 ओके नाउ ऑल दिस एंगल्स आर क्वाइट रेगुलर एंड वी डू नॉट सी देम ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस सो वी माइट हैव टू कन्वर्ट देम इनटू सिंपल फॉर्म दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो एंड देन सिंपलीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑलराइट look at the right hand side we are given a simple zero so i know that it will come out to be zero now two terms of this left hand side to have a coefficient of 1 while one has a coefficient of 2 one term constitutes of two trigonometric ratios while the other constitute of only one trigonometric ratios all right so this is going to be my q uh, to convert uh, the sum of this these two trigonometric uh, functions to one uh, so that uh, i may go further ahead all right so for this purpose i am going to have to use cnd formulas one of the cnd formulas and this in this particular scenario that cnd formula is going to be cos of c plus cos of d all right as you can observe that uh, this uh, these two terms are in this particular expression cos c plus cos d all right so i can write it as the expansion is quite a general and uh, basic formula so you must memorize it so the expansion is twice cos 3 plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 all right okay uh, write down the left hand side my left hand side is twice cos pi by 13 into cos of 9 pi by 30 plus cos uh, the sum of these two terms i am applying this formula and i am putting c is equals to 5 pi by 30 and d is equals to 3 pi by 30 so it becomes i am using this formula for expansion it becomes twice cos c plus d since the denominator is same so i can directly add the numerator it becomes 8 pi by 13 whole by 2 that is 4 pi by 13 all right and the other term it becomes what a uh, cos of c minus d that is 5 pi minus 3 pi 2 pi by 13 divided by 2 that is cos pi by 13 all right okay now you can observe that we can take 2 cos pi by 13 common we have 2 cos pi by 13 in both the terms all right so taking 2 cos pi by 13 common and it becomes cos of 9 pi by 13 plus cos of 4 pi by 13 all right okay i'm going to use the expansion of c and d formulas again and i can write it as twice cos pi by 13 multiplied by twice if i assume that my c is 9 pi by 13 and my d is 4 pi by 13 i'm writing this formula for expansion it becomes cos c plus d that is 9 pi by 13 plus 4 pi by 13 that is 13 pi by 13 or simply pi divided by 2 cos pi by 2 all right into cos 9 minus 4 5 pi by 13 by 2 that is 5 pi by 26 all right okay now pay attention here we all know that since cos of pi by 2 is equals to 0 so irrespective of the value of the other terms the this entire multiplication is going to be 0 all right so you can write it as 4 times cos pi by 13 into cos of 5 pi by 26 into 0 and it is 0 which is my right hand side hence you have proven the given question all right thank you for watching the video 
क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मीन और एडवांस के लेवल तक दस मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सअप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर